So there's a lot of tricks you can do with the ball. You can throw it to yourself, or you can throw it to yourself through a mirror. And today I'm gonna to show you how to throw a ball to yourself through a mirror. So it's over to Brian in the studio. Okay, so we're in the studio now. What I'm gonna show you in today's video is how to throw a ball through a mirror to yourself using a few simple steps. Just like this example, I'll show you now. This is how to play cat to yourself. What's up everyone, Brian and Donald here. Welcome back to another Filmmaking Fridays. This is our second Filmmaking Fridays ever where every week I'm gonna make a video to do with filmmaking, film editing, video tricks, video magic, all to do with that. So, I put up an Instagram reel and a TikTok about a week ago and I got a lot of response, a lot of people asking how I do it because it's a really simple trick. Like when you look at it, you think, oh, this is an easy thing to do, but then you just have to realize how to do it and a few simple steps will get you to the place where you can edit this trick for yourself. So I did reply to everyone who asked for a tutorial saying I would make one and now that I've got a Filmmaking Friday series going, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step on how to make this trick. Probably do it in about three minutes or something. It's not too complicated. Anyway, let's just jump straight into it. So first things first, put your camera or your phone on a tripod. I filmed in vertical mode because I was gonna be posting the clip on Reels and TikTok and that's a 16 by nine ratio. But if you're making it for YouTube, film it horizontally and have it on a tripod in the same position the whole thing so your camera doesn't move whatsoever. If it moves, you're gonna to have to start the whole process again. I got a big mirror, put the mirror on the ground and tilted the camera down towards the ground and I made it at this perfect angle because as you can see, if I squat down beside the mirror, you can see me fully squatting down. And if I stand up, you can see my whole reflection in the mirror. So just fiddle around until you get the scale right so you can see a whole reflection of yourself in the mirror on the floor and your whole body in real life, not in the reflection. And then you take two clips. You take one clip of you squatting down beside the mirror and throw the ball into the mirror. Make sure to hit the very center of the mirror. And when you release the ball, don't follow through and let your hand go wild. When you throw down, throw and stop with your hand. And do the exact same in a standing up position. So stand up from a height, drop the ball from above. Again, don't drop it from above and let your hand flop down. Drop it from above and pause your hand in the middle position where you let go of the ball. So now we jump straight into editing. Okay, so first thing you do, you import your clips into the timeline. I've got two clips here. One clip is me throwing the ball onto the mirror from a crouching position, and one clip is me throwing the ball onto the mirror from a standing position. Now, I need to reverse the one of me throwing it from a standing position because at the moment, both the clips are me throwing them down, but I need to be catching it, and to catch it, the ball needs to come to you. So on the clip I threw down, I'm gonna right click on it, go to speed duration, and tick the little reverse box here. That'll reverse the clips, so and now it looks like the ball's being sucked out of the mirror into your hand. Now it looks a bit weird because I'm crouching down and my reflection's in the mirror, so I'm just gonna replace the reflection of me in the mirror with the reflection of me standing up. So to do this, it's really easy. So you go to the clip of me standing up, find the frame where my hand is in a perfectly still position, right click, press add frame hold. A frame hold is basically taking a picture from a video. So we've taken this picture and we're gonna drag this above the clip of me throwing it into the mirror. Then go to effects, scroll down until you find this little circle thing, tap the circle thing and readjust the circle until it covers the outside area of the mirror. And now if I play through, it's replaced the reflection of me squatting down with the reflection of me standing up. You do this exact same thing in the next frame. You go to the clip of you squatting down, you find a clip where your hand is perfectly still, right click, press add frame hold, Drag this frame hold above the clip of you receiving the ball in the mirror. Go to effects, go to the circle tool, draw a circle around the mirror, but this time you have to press invert because you want to keep everything outside the mirror. Last time we were, we were trying to replace the mirror, so we just wanted to keep everything within the mirror, but this time we want to keep only what's in the mirror and replace everything else. At the moment the ball doesn't look like it's going through the mirror because it's getting cut off by the edge of the mirror. So. All we do here, you duplicate the clip of you throwing the ball into the mirror. You do this by holding Alt and dragging your clip to the top. Shorten it down to the part where the ball leaves your hand. Scroll down, find the circle button. Draw a circle mask about the shape of the ball and drag it over the ball. And make sure to tap on this little timestamp here. Now just go frame by frame and every frame just move the mask with the ball until it hits the mirror. Now do the exact same for the other clip. So drag the clip of you throwing the ball into the mirror to the top. Go scroll down to effects, find this circle Thing, draw a circle about the size of the ball, make sure to tap on this time watch, and then frame by frame, once again, you track the path of the ball. And now when you play through them, it's a perfectly sequenced as you throw the ball through a mirror. Now, 
I'll fine tune this a little bit more to get it more perfect and to throw it back through the mirror you do the same process but in reverse. So I hope that was a pretty simple tutorial for a complicated trick. Like there, there are a lot of masks there which are quite hard to work with and get your head around but you just need to practice this a few times and you'll know how to use masks really well and make these really awesome tricks. So if you'd like a more simple video tutorial like my other magic ones like my duplication of balls through a mirror or something like that then let me know below or if you have any other video trick ideas. If you see a video trick online, if you see a cool transition, if you see a cool magic trick by Zach King or something, just feel free to send it to me. I always read all my messages. So send it to me and say, could you recreate this on Film Fridays and show us how to do it? And I'll do it for you guys. So really hope you enjoyed this first tutorial of Film Fridays, Filmmaking Fridays. And before you leave, tap that like button and subscribe to the channel because you guys are awesome and I really appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.